Hello and welcome to this video. We are going to learn how to calculate the area of a sector of a circle. So let's start by learning what a sector is. So we have a simple sketch of a circle, though it's not uh, really perfect, but uh, I still believe we're going to get the point that I want us to. So a sector is a part of a circle that is bound or enclosed by two radii and an arc. So what do I mean? So when we have two radii, so let's have that as the center of the circle. So assume that is the center of the circle. So we have two radii. So that's a radius and we could have another one that way. So these are two radii. So that region that is enclosed by two radii and an arc, so an arc is part of the circumference. Uh, so, uh, so we have that region. So that is a sector because it is enclosed by two radii, that one and that one, and part of the circumference. This other one is also uh, a sector because it is also enclosed by two radii and part of the circumference or an arc. So let me try to draw them here. So we have that one. That way. Though it's not that perfect. So that's a sector. And also this other one is also a sector. So uh, let me draw it this way. So it's just a sketch. So this is a sector and this is also a sector. So a full a full circle subtends an angle of 360 at the center. Okay? 360 degrees at the center. But for a sector, it subtends a fraction of the 360 degrees. So let's... Um, have a semicircle so a semicircle uh, looks like that so it's just a sketch so a semicircle subtends an angle of 180 degrees okay 180 degrees so and then a quadrant a quadrant subtends an angle of 90 degrees okay 90 degrees so those are different sectors and they subtend a fraction of the 360 degrees so so now to calculate the area of a sector we need to multiply the fraction that uh, that it subtends at the center, the fraction of the 360 degrees that it subtends as the, at, at the center. So, um, we have fraction, fraction of angle, it subtends, and then we multiply by the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Okay, that is the area of a full circle. So let's say for a, a, a semicircle, so a semicircle subtends an angle of 180 degrees. So it's 180 degrees of the total 360 degrees. So that is the fraction that it subtends. And then now we multiply by the area of the circle of a full circle, which is pi r squared. Okay, for a quadrant, a quadrant, a quadrant subtends an angle of 90 degrees. So it's a, uh, and then over the total 360 degrees, and then times pi r squared. So that's what we do when calculating the area of a sector. So we can look at one or two examples. Now for a full circle, a full circle subtends 
360 degrees and then over the, the total 360 degrees and then pi r squared so this becomes 1 and that's why the area of the circle of, of the full circle is just pi r squared so we can look at one or two examples so let's say we have a sector so let's say that's a sector just a sketch and then it subtends an angle of 80 degrees and then we have the measure of the radius as 14 centimeters so let's try to work out the area of that sector so as we said we need to to multiply the fraction of uh, of the angle sorry the fraction of the, the whole circle that it's the, it subtends at the center so it's 80 degrees divided by the total 360 degrees and then times pi we can use pi as 22 over 7 times the square of the radius so we have 14 times 14 okay so we can simplify this so we have by 7 1 by 7 2 and then uh, then we can divide this by 10 so that's 8 that's 36 then by 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 4 we can have that as 2 and that as 9 okay so uh, 2 times 22 is 44 then 44 times 2 is 88 then 88 times 14 is 1232 then divided by 9 so this is going to be so we can you can divide that 136 so 136.9 square centimeters so that's the area of that sector